Welcome to the third Res Diary training video. If you haven't watched part one and two, please go and do so now. You'll find them linked in the film's descriptor. This video will run you through some of the main Res Diary features that you'll be using day to day. Showing you how to edit and cancel bookings, manage your closeouts and use the unallocate tool. If you need to edit a reservation, you can do that by clicking on the booking, causing a spider menu to pop up and clicking edit. Here, you can research availability for dates, times, covers, tables, or the customer's information. You can also quickly edit customer and booking comments from the spider menu. If you want to move guests to different times or tables, that can be done by clicking and dragging the booking from the grid or table plan view. From the different views, you have the ability to quickly change the number of guests on the tables too. Just tap on the covers amount and use the up and down arrows to adjust. But bear in mind that by using this process, you may be over or under booking that table. Perhaps you need to cancel a reservation. Just navigate to the correct date in the diary and tap on the booking. Hit the bin icon and it will bring up a list of reasons for cancelling. It's important to fill this out correctly so you can report on this later. Guests will be sent a confirmation of their cancellation either by email or SMS. Click complete and the booking will go into the cancellation list for that day. If the guest changes their mind or cancellation was a mistake, you can reseat the reservation from here. If you have a cutoff time for late cancellation and the guest has exceeded this, you may want to charge the card according to your pre-agreed terms and conditions. You can see how to do this in the payments video linked in the descriptor. Sometimes you may want to stop internal or online bookings happening on specific areas, tables, times or services. To do this, click the Close Out button to bring up the Close Outs console or hit C on your keyboard. The checkboxes control where and when you are closing and you can add a reason for your close out. Then hit Save Changes for them to take effect. From this console, you can also remove closeouts for that specific day. If you want to just close out specific tables or time slots, you can do that directly from the diary by tapping here and clicking the checkboxes or tapping on the grid. For closing out extended times, we have a full menu which you can access here. There are a range of films showing how closeouts can be used in different scenarios linked in the descriptor. At the top of your diary, you can see the incomplete bookings box. This indicates that there are reservations that have been started by the customer and then left incomplete. It's a good idea to check this report regularly. In the main diary, on the right-hand drop-down menu, you can see all unallocated bookings which are reservations that are not sat on a table. Unallocated bookings can happen for a number of reasons, including to help move tables around before service or if the table the customer was originally placed on was deleted. To move the booking back onto your table, just tap on this red button. Unallocation of tables is also useful for ensuring you're getting the most out of your restaurant space. Late cancellations or changes in covers can mean that moving some guests around would create more space. To do this, tap on Tools and Unallocate. Then, click on Allocate All to slot them all into the diary, automatically utilising your white space. 